Okay, I don't think I've ever heard him do that before. Blah, blah, blah. What's up, guys? K-pop producer and writer Rockman here. As you all know, I love NCT. I love everything that they do. And I am very intrigued to see that they are doing, for Taehyung's album, a highlight medley of a live performance. I don't think I've ever heard this. And I do know... NCT is always looking to shake things up, whether it's do, uh, you know, they've, they've been known to do like repackages. And then last year they like, screw it. We're going to do a Christmas album instead of a repackage. We're like doing something like this or just releasing bizarre concepts. I think this is very interesting that they're doing this and I cannot wait. I've heard people say that it shows a much more versatility from Taeyeon than we've heard before. I don't know. I haven't seen this yet. Let's take a look. Let me turn this up a little bit. I mean, I love Sha La La and that whole album. I, I really did like a lot. Most of the songs on that. You and I go on a okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard him do that before. I'm glad we did. See, he, he knows what he's doing. He's going to start the highlight medley off with something that people do not know him for. Higher falsetto -y vocals, melody, emotional melody like this. That is that is an interesting way to start this. And it's live. Wait, is he going to sit here and perform them all? Maybe a different setting? Okay. All right, different setting. There we go. Ooh, I like this look. Okay, I'm not going to bag on him, but all that stuff sitting in front of him has nothing to do with making music. But he has a microphone. Good look, though. The braille? Morse code? Oh, okay. Maybe it's tying into a Morse code. He's really trying to expand his performance and these these new songs. He ain't just a rapper anymore. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is what we heard. Eight. Love this noir look. You're like a make crayon. Cash rules everything around me. make crayon. Cash rules everything. Oh my god, time killing really is my time. This might be one of my favorite songs on here, I can already tell. Especially from the other snippet. Love the Travis Scott vibes in this. Oh. Wasn't there like a 404 song on his last album or something? Maybe it's connected, I don't know. Or something with numbers like that. A lot of singing on this. His falsettos, where did when did he learn this? Okay. 
What are these falsettos? What, what is going on here? I don't care, I don't care what you're waiting for. I don't care, I don't care about our memories. Too. Okay, he's definitely trying to show out in a way like, yo, he can sing. He's matured, he's expanding. They're all kind of sitting in a little bit too similar of a pocket for me personally, but I do enjoy all of them, pretty much. I'm pretty sure I'm enjoying most of these individual songs, but the, the chillness of them is just a little too similar so far. But this is a highlight medley. I've seen so many highlights from stuff that they've only they only take like a piece of the bridge and then you're like oh i like that what, what's it from and then you hear the song it's completely different so i'm kicking up feels like a show closer they're not gonna give us tap i don't think they probably would have gave it to us already. Usually the single's like the first or second song on an album. Yeah, they didn't give it to us. Okay. I'm glad to see the versatility. That is amazing. And you know, a lot of the members' solo projects have been, you know, popping off, especially showing a lot of their R&B showcasing. And he's, uh, he's one of the rappers. So I'm really glad to see a mixture of, yeah, he's rapping his ass off. And I'm sure Tap is going to be more of a rap-based song since most of these other ones were like singer-songwriter slash R&B. Uh, more indie, really. I mean, like R&B indie, which is pretty cool. Okay, we are wait, counting down till the album comes out. Later, guys.